So what is going on guys? We are playing some Prison Architect today. Um, so Prison Architect is basically like a tycoon-ish game where you basically like run a prison. So you build a prison, you have inmates, um, and you sort of manage like their day-to-day -day, like stuff. Uh, it's a very fun game. I've been playing it for years. Um, so we will uh, we will get started. So the first thing we have to do is we have to choose which warden we get. So this first guy is pretty balanced. Um, sometimes I go with Rita because she doubles the rate of suppression, which is really good because if your prison has a really um, a really low suppression rate, then you can have like riots and the prisoners can get out of hand. Um, I'm trying to think. I sometimes play as the pacifier, but it makes like your basically your inmates like less likely to get in trouble. Um, this girl's pretty cool. Basically, like if you find contraband on your like prisoners, uh, they're fined, like out of their own personal savings. Um. This one could be really good too. Inmates can use a workshop immediately. And prison is paid more for all exports. That could get really good. This one's pretty cool though. Uh, basically like they put chemicals in the water and it suppresses like the needs of the, uh, the prisoners. Um, this guy's like a robot. So definitely don't want this guy to tracks like legendary inmates. Uh, I don't like him either. I feel like they've added some people. Slugs worth. Criminally insane. I don't know we'll do criminally insane just yet. So I think I'm like leaning more towards like either the pacifist. Let's do the fine. I want the prisoners to have like a negative consequence for having contraband. So this is actually new. Choose a dog. I don't know what this is. But now works in escape prevention. Deadly trap for an escapee moving through the snow. A guard's best friend. Not everyone is a dog person. <laughs> I have a cat. <coughs> Why don't anybody try to escape? A very dapper chap. He's a clever girl. Um, I say probably companion would be good. They help in escape prevention. Uh, so I went ahead and adjusted the difficulty. Uh, the normal difficulty is county, but I feel like county is kind of easy. Uh, so I turned it to federal, but I want our prison size to be large. Um, and I turned off Fog of War. Fog of War is, like, pretty dumb in my opinion. You basically, like, either have to have, like, a guard in a specific area for, like, you to see what's going on. Or a, uh, closed-circuit TV camera, uh, to see what's going on. I don't really like that. Forest is good. I don't really care for lakes, um, or generate buildings. So, I think we're good with, uh, with these. I don't want prison gangs on... Although that could be kind of cool, but it's an extreme challenge. And I definitely don't want criminally insane on. But I'm fine with high breakouts. Okay, so let's uh let's get started with this. Okay, so it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm just gonna first get used to um to the controls. Uh so this is basically like our map. So we have tons of uh Tons of things we can do here. What up, Pam? You setting up your espresso? Nice. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how we want our prison to look. So one of the things that I really like to do is I want to go in and I want to plan the prison out a bit. Um, so basically, there's a couple things to consider when you're first like building your prison. So you have your deliveries area, which is this right here. 
Um, and then you have your garbage area right here. Um, so anything that you're taking into the prison, whether that be food or building materials, um, it's going to come in through deliveries. Um, and then you're just naturally going to have garbage that accumulates uh, from the prison, like food waste and, you know, any trash that you're throwing away. Um, so, and another thing that I like to do is I don't really typically like to build the front of the prison too close to the road. Uh, because it gives me a little bit of like a little bit of room to sort of, you know, if somebody does like walk out the front door, you can place some like traps and stuff to like keep them inside. Um, so I think I'm very big on like keeping things like symmetrical too. So that's one thing that you'll like notice. Um, we could probably build this. Um, so I'm thinking either we put the, the double doors right here, or we put the double doors, um, right here. And I mean, like, on the wall. It just won't let me select it on the wall. Um, uh, we could probably build this a little higher. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm not actually gonna... You can actually, like, actually build what you, um, what you're selecting, but we're not actually gonna do that. I'm just doing this for planning purposes. Um, so the first thing I want to do is we want to build, like, a visitation room. Um, so visitation room is, like, where the prisoners come in. Uh, the guards will change them from their clothes, their street clothes, into their prison clothes. Um, usually have, like, a receptionist there, too. Um, then you probably want something like a, like a little hallway. Um... And maybe, like, a holding cell area that's, like, right next to reception. Um, holding cell is important because if you don't have enough room in your prison uh, to house the prisoners, um, they'll go in the holding room until you have enough, like, room. Uh, but another thing, too, is one of, like, the really big, like, things with Prison Architect is sort of, like, making sure that, like, the, like, it's easy to, like, walk. Um, and so I probably want the main hallway, um, to be pretty big. So probably, I want, like, four spaces in between. So two, three, four. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just, like make the uh, the holding area Oops. make the holding area just a tiny bit bigger um, so obviously we have a lot of space here and you can actually expand even more like you can buy like land on any side of this uh, but another thing too is like oh gosh um, you don't want to build like so there are multiple sort of like levels with like the prison. So you can have minimum security like prisoners, which are easy. They're usually like the people who've committed like blue collar crimes um, or white collar crimes, whatever the terminology is. You know, things like bank fraud and like embezzlement. Um, you got your medium sec people, which are people who have probably like, you know, robbed or, you know, committed some other like, not super serious like crime and then you have your max sec max security people which are people who have like murdered people and are in gangs and all that stuff um, so I think we'll probably start out with medium security uh, just because I feel like minimum security is like kind of easy um, and I don't want to do max security just yet because I don't think we have enough money to do max security um, so basically what we want to do first is we got this this hallway right here um we've got our visitation room we've got our reception area so kind of just sort of thinking big picture about where we want to put the cells at um because each prisoner is going to have to have their own sort of like cell um i don't know they may have updated it since i uh since I last played Hedge Maze. That's cool. Um, they may have updated it since I last played. But the last time I played, you couldn't build, like, 
a uh, like a room with like multiple beds. It had to be like one one bed per cell. So something like this, for example. Um, you could do these quick rooms, um, which are super easy to do. Um, so we want to figure out where we want to put our cells at. We also want to figure out where we want to put our canteen or our kitchen where the prisoners are going to eat. Because um, you kind of want that to be in like a centralized location uh, because all the prisoners are going to converge into that one area. Um, so you don't want to, for example, put the canteen over here if you're going to have like prisoners over in this area, over in this area, over in this area, because they're all going to have to like go all the way over here to get to the kitchen. So I typically like to put the canteen sort of like in the middle of the prison. Um, so that's something that we can do. So we'll probably put the actual kitchen right there. And then we can do the canteen area because you want the canteen to be kind of big. Because um, you're going to put a ton of like, you're going to feed a ton of prisoners. But I think we'll probably start like on this side of things to, to begin with. So I'll build one side of the canteen. And what you can do is as you like fill in these like other areas, you can sort of like, um, you can continue to fill out the canteen area so that it like goes all the way around in sort of like a square. And before I forget, let me change the battery in my headset real quick. All right, much better. Okay, so um, now that I think we have like a general like look at what we want to do we can start actually building um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build this because i want the um oh, i have to wait for them to fill out this area so i'm just gonna put the uh the speed on quick and then we'll build It's very deep, yeah. I'm choosing you before Nelly. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Uh, we probably need to put... Oh, there we go. I was like, when is it going to do that? Okay, I'll let them build that out. We also only started off with $100,000, which isn't a lot of money. Um, typically... Oh, they have some really cool walls now. I usually don't mess with like walls too much. Okay, we'll do that right there. We'll put a large door. Oh no, did I not do this correctly? Two, four. Oh, I think I messed up. We'll put a solitary door at the front. Um, and then for the holding, whoops, this, put that right there. But yeah, this, this is like a full on like simulator game. It's a lot of fun though, if you like simulator games. Go ahead and build this while they're working on that too. I have to be very careful with how much money I'm spending though, because in the beginning it's very tough. Because the most expensive part is like actually, I mean, I guess like the foundation is probably the most expensive part. We could start off with minimum security people. Minimum security is a lot easier to do than like maximum or me or medium security I love like the little sound it sounds like somebody's like scribbling on a notepad it's very pleasing okay so we got our little canteen area right here we got a kitchen long hallway uh, we also have to build I'm gonna do quick rooms it's a utility room 
Um, and I kind of want to put this, like, at a place where, like, the prisoners can't really get to it. Uh, because the utility room is going to house the electricity and the water. So you can imagine if, like, one of the prisoners gets a hold of the uh, utility room, it can be a bit of a mess. Um, so I could put it... Put it, like, right here. Because they're probably not going to be in this, like, hallway too much. This espresso is so luxury. <laughs> When did you get your uh, espresso machine, Emma? Uh, quick structures. Oh, no. Sometimes it, this was a bug when I first got it. Uh, so sometimes, like, the... Uh, they still haven't patched that bug, I see. Uh, sometimes it's... Like, it'll do this thing where it can't... Like, it'll highlight something, even though you're not trying to highlight. Oh, got you. Stimulus money on an espresso machine. Very nice. Okay. We can add a door right here, too. Probably solitary door would be good. Eventually, we'll upgrade these doors to, like sort of motorized doors. Um, we'll put a staff door right there. So there's different doors. I should probably explain that. Uh, so the jail doors, those are just normal doors. You get a double jail door. A standard door um, does not have a lock on it. So like you have to have a, a guard's key to open these doors. The standard door though, anybody can just open that. Now solitary door, you have to have guard's key, but it's like harder for them to like beat because sometimes when you have, like, a riot or, like, people are, like, getting mad, they'll, like, beat the doors. And on one of these, like, doors, like the regular jail door, they can actually break it down uh, after some time. But with the solitary door, it takes a significant amount of, like, time to break that down. Now, the staff door, um, only staff can go through, but it's weaker than, like, a jail door. But part of the reason why, so this area is going to be the kitchen. So like we're going to have actual cooks and stuff that are non-prisoners in here. Um, the reason that I don't want to have an actual jail door in here is because if I have a jail door, then anytime the cooks are going from like the kitchen to outside of the kitchen, they're going to have to have a guard come and unlock the door for them. So by putting a staff door in there... Um, what that does is enables the cooks to come and go as they please without needing a guard because guards um, are pretty tough to like you don't want them to be too busy if that makes sense um, road gate is cool it basically like like if you have it like fenced off you can put this right here um, like in the middle of the road and if you have like fences around like the other plate like everywhere else They'll have to get a key to unlock the road. And Bamboo Door, I never use that. Okay, so we've got that. Um, so I think we could probably... Let's go ahead and get the kitchen area first. So once you've like actually built, you have to go to rooms. Um, and then you have to like tell it, okay, this is what I want to, to put in here. So I'm going to label this room as kitchen. Um, and then I'm going to label this room as the canteen. So the canteen is where the prisoners sit. The kitchen is where the food is made. Um, so, and we probably want another staff door here. Um, and then... The cool thing is, is when you go to objects, if you have the room already made, it'll, like, filter by the room. Um, so you don't have to go, like, looking through tons of different, you know, objects. You can do, like, an A to Z, like, option. Oops. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, uh, oh, I'm spending too much money. Um, I'm going to put the stoves near this door right here because I want the cooks to have an easy transition from like where the stoves are to where we're going to put the you know places where the food sits in the canteen um fridges 
That's just used to store food. Oops. Um, all packs. Okay. I like pushed a button and I didn't know what I did. <laughs> okay, fridges. Oh shoot, I did it again. Um, and then sink. So, shoot, sink is really important because when the dishes need to be washed, they're gonna have to have a place to wash the dishes. And then you just wanna have a bin, like nearby. Otherwise the kitchen will get really nasty. Okay, so now we're in the canteen. We have the serving table. So we want the serving table to be kind of close to where the kitchen is. Um, so that the cooks don't have to really like travel too far. They could just dump the food on the serving tables and be done. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, and then for the tables and stuff. So I'm trying to think of like how I want to do the tables. Seems like a good amount of space. I'll explain why I'm doing what I'm doing in just a second. You're probably like, why are you putting benches like that? Um, so I like to put the tables pretty close together. But this makes it so it's kind of like a picnic table. You get a bench on each side. All right, I have to be very mindful of my money. If I'm not careful, I'll end up spending way too much. Okay. Uh, and then, where's the bins at? Ah, this is what I was looking for. Bin, bin. Bin. Okay. So we've got our canteen. We've got our kitchen. Uh, so let's go over to rooms. So visitation. Oh, we won't do visitation just yet. Reception. That's all I was looking for. So this reception room. And another thing is like certain rooms have a certain like minimum like size requirement. Um, so you want to make sure you're doing that too. Then holding cell. Objects. So, I mean, holding cell is pretty basic. Don't want to put too much stuff in there. Because, I mean, we don't really use... In the prisons that I've, like, done historically, we haven't really used the uh, holding cell too much. Okay. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do minimum security or medium security. My comfort zone is minimum security because it's super easy. Um, but I want to make this, like, playthrough kind of challenging. Um, and kind of step outside my comfort zone a little bit. Okay, put that right there. Oh, metal detectors. Very important. Very important. The heck is this? Couplet banner? They've added so much stuff to this game. Canvas and paints, bucket, bird cage, bleachers. Yo, what the heck is this? Aero decal, arcade machine in a prison. Oh, sell object. That's nice. That used to not be there. Wooden table. That's dope. That'll be healthy for uh, helpful um, when we get visitation. Wooden drawers. Man, they have added so much stuff to this game. Water cooler. Wall safe? Why would you even need a wall safe? You're in prison. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we'll definitely be using this, like, visitation booth, I think. Tire stack. Gosh. Wait, a spooky tree? What the heck is that? I'll push. Punch bag. Okay. Potted plant. 
paper lantern painting that looks like the Mona Lisa PA system ox statue light floor lamp gym mats interesting dragon that's like the weirdest thing okay uh, so we were looking at metal detectors metal detectors are very important um, because they detect contraband and I think for our first little cells we're gonna do some quick rooms we'll just do like a basic room I guess we could do an improved cell it's gonna cost $1,300 I'm trying to think of how much money we're going to have left. Because um, I also have to build administrative wing as well. I think we just do these like bare bones uh, cells. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna leave two spaces in between the cells though And we'll do we'll do ten at a time I'll let them finish building that out but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this area with foundation um, And then we're gonna put like a couple of metal detectors down here Maybe we'll just do one, because I want to be cautious of the, the money situation we have. Okay, and then demolish. So we're going to take these walls down. Oh, no, I don't want to cancel the foundation. I'll wait till they do that. Perfect. Uh, so demolish that wall, demolish that wall. Um, so these are good now so you don't have to put like a jail cell right here I'm probably not um, but I do want to build metal detectors right here okay and then we really need to build an administrative wing because uh, you got to have people working for the prison you know got to have an accountant got to have a warden so I'll let them build that out actually I could probably go ahead and build no I can't build that yet I'll let them finish building that out they're actually pretty quick that and then we can go to office. I don't know how big the offices have to be. I think it's like four by something. Yeah, four by four. Okay. So then we'll do a wall. Yeah, accountants are the most important people in the prison. They keep the money flowing. Maybe a little, like, biased with that. Maybe just a little. Is that big enough? No, I think I messed that up. Whoops. I can't count. Okay, good. And then we'll add doors... So we'll just put like staff doors here. Um, I don't want like the prisoners, if they do happen to get over into the admin wing, to be able to get in. Okay. And then we'll just do something really basic, like a desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. Rooms. Oh, 
office. Okay, so that should be good there. Oh, they can't even get over here. Whoops. All right, staff door. Now they can get in. They couldn't get in here before because there's a wall like right here. Whoops. Okay, now they'll start bringing all that stuff in. Okay, so once we have our offices, we can start hiring people to come work for us. Um, so the first thing we want to do is hire the warden. Um, so we got the warden there. And then what we want to do next is we're going to prison running. Let me see if I can remember this. Um, so we definitely want security. So basically this is like the research tab. You can think of it like that. Uh, so basically we're researching security right now. Uh, prison policy, which is great. We'll do that at some point. Microgement. Uh, you can micromanage like different aspects of like the prison, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to do finance and education. Um, and we'll probably do some health as well. And then we'll do uh, micromanagement. Uh, so we're going to sort of let the warden. I forgot that these things costed money too. So hopefully we'll have enough money. <laughs> um, so basically we'll let the warden like work on these things we still have positive cash flow which is good which is in like the top right um it's at seven hundred dollars so that's like our cash flow coming in uh we also now that i'm thinking about it let's go ahead and hook up like our power This is like another thing. This game is like pretty intense. There's lots of like different things you have to have to like consider and work towards whatever you want to, however you want to say it. Okay, that's not costing too much money. We uh we will get some money once we start knocking out uh, some of the side quests. Um, so this game has certain side quests you can like do to get extra money. Um, so we'll definitely be tackling those. I think that's under like reports. Oh yeah, these grants. So grants are really important because you get sometimes you get money up front. So like for this one, uh, they're basically going to give you an advance payment of twenty thousand dollars, which will allow you to build your first detention center. Um, so you have to have a holding cell. You have to have a shower. You have to have a yard. You have to have a kitchen. You have to have a canteen. You have to hire two guards. And you have to hire two cooks. So we're going to grab this because we want an extra $20,000. We're also going to do this uh, administrative center because we're about to about to get that. So the only thing we have to do left on this is to hire an accountant, uh, which we're about to do. Um, and then I think I usually do the staff room. Well, we may wait on that, because I think once I get basic detention center up, I'm going to uh, do this cell block A, because cell block A gives you an additional 20000 Um And all you have to do is just build additional cells. Okay, so now that we've got the warden, let's hire an accountant. That will give us extra money, because we've completed the side quest. Yeah, I mean, we can do a quick tour of the prison. There's not much here, though. Uh, so, uh, here we have our lovely reception area. Uh, we've got our little holding cell right here. We've got this beautiful hallway that's very dirty because, uh, lots of people have been walking through it and we don't have janitors yet. Uh, we've got our kitchen area right here. And then we've got our little canteen area where the prisoners will sit and eat their nasty food. Um, and then over here we've got our administrative wing. So we've got a warden right here. We've got our accountant right here. We're fixing to hire a chief guard. And then we're also going to hire a foreman in just a second. Um, because we want to get the clone option available. The clone option basically allows you to like clone a certain room and just build it over and over and over and over again. 
Uh, so that's super helpful if you have like a specific sale that you're wanting to do, uh, like a specific design for a sale. Um, you could just copy and paste that. So that's a really nice feature. Um, but first we'll have to like do this. Do you uh, do you like our our prison so far, Emma? Okay, that should be enough to build one more office. So I'm gonna let them build that out. I think we got all of our electricity in. Now we have to run water. Um, so the water is interesting. You first have to run a large pipe through. Um, because the small pipes only run through so much. Um, so you have to connect like everything. So like right here, for example, I'd run a large pipe through and then I'd connect with the uh, smaller pipes. I like the sound of the pipes too. When they're like laying them. Okay. So we got that. Um, now, one thing that's going to be very interesting that I don't usually do is we're going to have a shower uh, in this prison. And showering is, as I'm sure you guys might could guess, uh, can get very dangerous in a prison. You know, people like to shank others in, uh, you know, in the shower. So, you know, we're just going to kind of like think about how we want to plan that out because obviously we want tons of guards nearby so that we don't have massive shankings going on. Uh, but also like if we can effectively like deal with the contraband in our prison, it shouldn't be too bad. But there are always going to be fights in the shower. It's just why I never use them. But there's like this like glitch thing that can happen sometimes where uh, basically if you don't have a shower then people are just not going to take showers and that's obviously no bueno office good just going to make these look all the same we are on a budget here after all although we do have $62,000 so that's pretty good um, and then we'll hire a foreman Okay, so the foreman allows us to unlock clone, uh, which is a pretty great... Why is it showing I don't have water? Oh, yeah, because you can't do that. Got it. You can't build the water pipe underneath the uh, generator. <laughs> it's a rule. Um, and a lot of people might say, oh, well, why would you use the custom, you know, the auto water quick build room uh and that's a great question so part of the reason is that if you don't build this correctly uh your generator will catch on fire because what happens is like the water will leak into it and cause a uh, electricity surge um basically i played this game enough to know like what are some good things and what are some bad things and a really bad thing is when your generator that runs your prison's power system catches on fire and doesn't work so uh learn from my mistake <laughs> all right i'll probably build like a shower area right here once they finish with this um and then uh, i'm building this like other hallway right here because I want to put visitation in this area but I'm not going to have visitation for a good bit uh, because it can be a little expensive and it literally doesn't provide us with like any super benefit like in the beginning uh, for even having a uh, for having a visitation center now you can get a grant like one of the grants is to build a a uh, visitation center. Okay. Criminally insane wing. I do not want to have a criminally insane wing. Criminally insane is like insane. Like literally. Okay. Shower. We're working on the shower. That's what this is. Um. 
I'm just gonna put like a door right here and a door right here. Um, and maybe a couple doors right there. So I'll be interested to see how uh, how crazy things get. So the game starts out very slow, but once we get like once we get prisoners in here, it's gonna get like insane. Like you guys are gonna see some things that you've never seen before. Okay, so with the showers, I like to spread them out so that people aren't like on top of each other because if they are on top of each other. Um, they're gonna get in fights a lot more, so I like to spread out the uh, the shower area. Okay, that doesn't match. So that's gonna bother me, but we could just do this. Okay, and then for objects, since this is a shower. I'm going to put some shower heads along the walls. I think that bell means that like we completed a grant. I think. Now for the drains, um, I'm just going to put them like right here. Like under the doors. I don't really care if the the shower itself is just dripping wet all the time, but I do care if the water leaks out into the, <laughs> out of the shower and into that place, like into the actual like prison, cause that's no bueno. So this game does get pretty violent. I'm just going to warn you guys. Uh, it is prison architects. There are a lot of prison things that happen in this game. So, you know, if you uh, are a small kid um, and you don't know what a gun is, then you probably shouldn't be watching this stream right now. <laughs> oh, did I miss one? I did. Okay, so it looks like everything's hooked up in terms of power and water, so that's good. Uh, let me look at my grants. So what else do I need? I need a yard. Okay, that's important. So we'll put the yard out here. Yard's basically just like where they go to like hang out. Um, so we can make a pretty decent sized yard. Um, and then I'll just build, like, concrete walls around it. Or we could do, like, a... No, we, we'll do this. It's, like, technically outside. You know, we aren't building, like, foundations or anything on it. Um. Doors. I'm trying to think if I want to put any jail doors out here. Let me just put a couple of jail doors. I mean, I can always just have them open all the time. Objects. Okay, so there are a lot of things we can put out here. Uh, we could put some little weight benches out. Like zoom in a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to put a some of this stuff in the middle because I don't want to crowd the uh, first part of the area. Oh, I haven't even mentioned one of the best parts of the game. So I have uh, the escape mode DLC. So once we get our prison like flawless, I as a prisoner can go in the prison and play as a prisoner and try to escape. So I am super pumped about that because I haven't really done a lot of the, the escape mode stuff. benches put them kind of away from each other you don't want people like cramped up oh bleachers dope 
Yeah, let's put these like over here. Tire apparatus. Um, I just want an A to Z. Yeah. I like to put some things that aren't necessarily like meant for the uh, meant for out here in the uh, yard area, out in the yard area. It's like you might could put like a chess table out here. The chess table is like new. Put like a couple of chess tables. Mike could put some like showers down. It's like if they wanted to take a shower, they could. Where are them shower heads at? Put a little radio out here. That'd probably be really nice. Have some music going on. Put some prayer mats down in case they want to, like, do some praying. PA system. Dope. I've never used that before. I don't know what it does. Morg slab. Yeah, you know, people die in this game. I think that's, like, very safe to say. What the heck is a footbridge? Wait, can you build bridges over lakes now? That's dope. Uh, let's put some drink machines out here. I mean, they're in prison, but, you know. Give them a little slice of life. Um, and then let's go ahead and connect the water supply down here. Okay. So we got our yard down. That's a very nice looking yard, if I might say myself. Let's see what else we could probably do. Um, we could clone. Have I done cloning yet? Uh, reports? No. Prison running. Bureaucracy. Yeah, clone, cleaning, prison labor. Extra grants, nice. You can have three grants total. Um, psychology, prison policy, deployment, patrols. Um, and then I'll unlock dogs once patrols is done. So, basically, like, psychology is you can have them go and see a therapist in there. Um, this, like, prison policy, I can't remember exactly what you can do, but I think you can, like, adjust, like, how much, like, if a prisoner gets caught with contraband, you can, like, send them into solitary for, like, you know, a week if you wanted to, to really discourage them from, like, carrying around contraband, or you could, like, not make it an offense at all. Deployment allows you to, like, set people, like, in certain rooms. Uh, patrols allows you to set, like, a patrol so that, like, a guard or a dog will walk in a certain, like, area um, all day. Um, I think that's all that we really want to do for now. We will eventually unlock tasers. Um, but, I mean, usually that's not, like, super necessary right now. Education would be nice, because you can run reform programs. Uh, but you can also run, like, classrooms. Uh, so, like, one of the things you can do is you can make, like, license plates and stuff uh, using the prisoners as prison labor, which is why we, uh, one of the reasons why we unlock the prison labor research item. Um, and you can sell those, like, license plates for, like, good money. Uh, you can also make beds and stuff in the workshop and sell those for, like, a lot of money, too. Okay, so rooms. We haven't built a staff room yet, so maybe we could do that. Put that right here. Um, and then we'll add a staff door right here. 
Oh, let me connect this like metal detector to the power. Okay. I think we got everything. There, I'll let them finish building that out. Construction rooms. Staff room. Staff room's just where they go to chill out. Like they get tired. Then go in the staff room and kind of relax for a bit. Alright, sofa. Let's put a couple of these in here. Whoops. I did it again. Sack. All packs. All types. There we go. Put a pool table in here. Might as well. Uh, maybe a nice little radio. They got some music. Some drink machines. Staff room done. I think. What else do you have to have in here? A oh, drink machine. Okay, so we got our staff room. Well, let's look at these grants to see what we have left here. Okay, hire two guards and hire two cooks. What's this one? Build a staff room. Five guards without assigned duties. I kind of want to get this one too, but it's kind of expensive because you have to build a medical ward and you have to have doctors and you have to have a psychologist. Um, so maybe we'll do that once we get some prisoners in because we only have $35,000 left. Okay, construction. So now that we've unlocked the clone option, I'm just going to clone this. And I double check, sometimes triple check, that like I haven't overlapped or anything. Because once you hit select on here, it's like donezo. So important to make sure that like this is where you want to place it. I don't want to make the hall super long just yet. Eventually we will do that. Uh, just because I don't want people getting all fussy. Because they have to walk so far to get to the shower. They have to walk so far to get to the canteen. Um, it also probably be a good idea to build a hallway um, connecting to the canteen area. I'm trying to think of how big I want to make that. I feel like two's enough, but maybe we should do four since it's the canteen. Do three. Okay, so they're making those. That was obviously like ten thousand dollars. So you can see how this could get like very like expensive very quickly. This game is so much fun, though. We're going to have such a blast. Okay. I'm actually in favor of destroying these walls. Bulldoze just means you're destroying the foundation, so the ground and the walls. So you don't want to do that unless you just want to make it an outdoor area. Um, and then this walls area. I kind of want to put, like, a door here. Yeah, you, so you don't want to, like, you don't want the prisoners, like, bunching up together because they get really fussy. And when they get fussy, they start punching each other. Um, and we want to, like, minimize the amount of, like, uh, you know, anger that is going to be going in our prison. You know, move and move this over. Just put that over there. There we go. Um, so you can set some of these like doors to like stay open all the time. Um, so I think we're pretty close to opening up our prison and accepting our first uh, our first prisoners. I think. Okay. So oh yeah, we have to do a lot of uh, these things first. So regime. We want to figure out. Okay, what is what is each person's like day gonna look like so you want to make sure they have plenty of sleep um but what i want to do is i don't want to put them in lockup all the time because that's just going to make them really fussy so i think what i'd like to do is have them in lockup for like maybe an hour no let's not even do that shower first then maybe we can give them some free time, yeah. They can eat for an hour. 
Um, and then maybe give us some more free time. And then we're gonna make this, like, work time. Whoops. So six hours for work, I think that's plenty. Uh, and then we'll do some yard time. I'll give them time to exercise, get out. Um, and then we'll let them eat again. Let's give them two hours each for eating. And then, how many hours of sleep do they want? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think they need nine hours of sleep. So maybe we could give them some more free time. Now we can freely adjust this as we want. And you can adjust it by like different security levels. So like we can give minimum security more free time. Um, we can give max security more lockup time. But I think like generally speaking, I don't want to put too much lockup time because they get really fussy. Um, and when prisoners get fussy, they start like wanting to riot. And we don't want to riot on our hands. Okay, so we got regime down. Policy, so complaining. I don't really feel like we need to like do anything with that. Destroying prison property. We definitely want to search the prisoner and their cell. And we're going to put them in lockdown for five hours. Whew, that's pretty harsh. Now, if they try to escape, we're going to search both of their, uh, their, their person and their cell. And we're going to put them in solitary for 10 hours. That reminds me, we need to build a solitary uh, place. Um, attacking other prisoners. Search both the prisoner and their cell. We're going to put them in solitary. Oh, this could get really bad. Like, if we don't have enough solitary cells to, like, fit them in. Maybe we could just put them in lockdown for 10 hours. I think I'm going to try to save solitary for, like, really bad things. Um, so, like, if they attack a staff, like, that's pretty serious. Or is it? Oops. Put them in lockdown. If they attack a staff, I'm kind of tempted to put them in lockdown for, like, a whole day. Uh, causing serious injury. So, prisoner and cell. I'm going to put them in solitary. For like, what a day. Being intoxicated. Well, they shouldn't have any alcohol to begin with. But I don't really see that to be a reason for them to uh, be in lockdown too long. Killing someone. So, I mean, I would probably consider killing someone to be pretty serious. We'll probably make this, like, two or three days in solitary. Three days. Possessing a weapon. Um, uh, probably just put them in lockdown. Because if they, like, hurt somebody with the weapon, they're going to get put in solitary anyway. Uh, for ten hours. Possessing tools... Lockdown. Like eight hours. Possessing drugs. Man, they're really wanting us to do a lot of solitary. Um, could just be eight hours. Narcotics. Lockdown. Do eight hours. Possessing luxuries. Lockdown, two hours. Theft of prison property. So they stole something from the prison. Lockdown, five hours. Okay. So here, parole cut, 33% chance of reoffending. That's pretty high. Mill variety, mill quantity. 
Okay, so lockdown. That's a good question, Emma. Great question. Uh, lockdown means that they just go back to their cell. Um, and they're like locked in their cell for a time period. Solitary is like the shoe. Uh, as made famous by Orange is the New Black. Uh, so, like we need to build a shoe area. Um, I'm just going to make this whole thing the shoe. But yeah, that's like the difference in the two. Okay. Oh yeah, there's really not much in solitary. I mean, it's just a wall and a door. I'll give him a bed. I usually don't give solitary people beds, but I'll give him a bed. I'll be nice. Oops. It'll be the nice cell right there. Whoever gets this cell is going to be lucky. They're going to have a huge room. Okay. That might not be enough solitary rooms, but I think it'll be fine for now. You have to have a solitary door on there. Usually with, like, solitary confinement, I don't really give them much. Like, I usually just make it, like, something like this. Like, this is the door. Like, there's just this tiny little area. <laughs> I feel like sometimes that can be a little harsh. Uh, bed. I guess we can give my toilet too. means we'll have to build some water down here. Alright, I'll let them fill that in. Oh yeah. Put that right there. Could probably squeeze in another solitary room. Could put one right there maybe. We'll see. I may need to build more solitary space. I think this will work for now, though. Oh, I just remembered this is like a my little joystick area. Why are why is it still showing that these things don't have water? Oh. That makes sense, because they literally don't have water. Whoops. I don't want solitary just so I didn't have to, my head next to the toilet. Yeah. It's kind of stinky. It stinks. I mean, your head's technically next to the toilet in your cell too, though. Okay. Got 
that. Looks like we need some power down here. road yep classic clementine jokes there yeah i mean you could just literally avoid prison you wouldn't deal with any of this okay let me see how my grants are looking okay so i hired two guards and two cooks will be will be ready to go hire staff Two guards and two cooks. Okay, we got our grant. Let's see. Let's do cell block A. So we could do visitation, right? Let's prison maintenance. Like maintenance, unlock cleaning, unlock groundskeeping. Hire a chief of security, hire 10 guards. Unlock patrols, assign three guards. Oh, we'll definitely do that. Can we get another one? Let's do the cell block A. I don't know that I want to do a... Um... Oh yeah, and we got the extra grant thing too. So yeah, we might could do this one too. Okay, we got tons of money now. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and open up our prison. Uh, so you don't want to like intake a ton of people. So we have twenty cells. So I'm gonna have twenty people. So there's different like. So every time you get a new prisoner, you get a basically like a stipend for that prisoner. Uh, so basically for men's sec, you get $375. For medium security, you get $625. Max is uh, $1,250. Death row, you have to unlock that later. And then criminally insane is like $3,000. But I'll tell you something. Criminally insane is like very hard. Uh, so we're going to do medium security first. So we're going to... Uh, we've got this already set up. So these are coming in... It says it like on the very like right down there. Uh, coming in 11 hours. And we're going to get a payment of $12,000. So, while that is there, let's go ahead and hire some more guards. Let's hire 10 guards. Um, let's get some janitors. And then let's look at our grants that we did to see if there's something else we need. Unlock groundskeeping and hire a gardener. We can definitely do that. Groundskeeping. Oh, it might be a good idea to get this, uh, have the bank loan thing open just in case we need it. Prison running. Hire a gardener. Alright, so we got that grant done. Uh, probably this health one would be a good one. You need to build a medical ward. Um, can probably build the medical ward down here. I've still got to figure out where I'm going to put visitation at. That would probably be plenty for a medical ward. I might could just do visitation like right here, like in this area. I don't know. I could make it like on this side of the prison too. It's a possibility. Okay, so. Put this here, and then let's see. Go to rooms, and then we will. Um, where's the rooms at? We'll do medical ward. Infirmary, that's what's called. We'll make a small area for the morgue as well. 
You know, you're just gonna have people dying. It's just, it's just gonna happen in prison. Oh gosh, the prisoners are here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's finish like building this out real quick. Uh, purchase objects. Bed, bed, bed. Okay, that should be enough. All right, I think we're good now. And then for this, we can probably just destroy this wall. All right, our first prisoners are here. Okay, so I'm so excited. Um, so now everybody's getting searched. They're finding contraband already. Uh, the warden's really gonna like that. You can see our cash flow is positive now, thirteen sixty-five. Very nice. We got inmate Nightingale, inmate Dyer, inmate Thomas, inmate Pierce, inmate Tedilo, inmate Brown, Dunthorne, Wagstaff, Mendoza, Flint, Bailey Doyle, Storm, Enriquez, Fisher, Potter, Riley, Holmes, Redman. Inmate Storm looks dope. I'm inmate storm. Okay, so oh, metal detectors have already sound off. Oh, got that one too. Uh, we'll have that always open. Oh, these poor, this poor guy's already trying to like get into the canteen area. We'll leave the canteen open as well. Chefs are hard at work preparing disgusting food for our uh, our people. Okay, we can probably speed this up a little bit while they work on the infirmary. Uh, so right now is free time, so prisoners are just kind of chilling out. You know, they got uh, they got some time on their hands. Oh no, I forgot something very important. <laughs> Uh, shoot. I forgot about a washroom. Whoops. Yeah, washroom is very important. Uh, we'll put a staff door right here. I noticed it because there's like a bundle of like dirty prison uniforms right here. I wonder if they fixed the bug with the prison uniform. So there used to be this bug where like if a prisoner was assigned to a bed and you remove the bed uh, from the cell, then the uniform would just lay on the ground and would never like be picked up by the janitors. Okay, I'll speed that up. So it's work time right now. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of work right now. Uh, cause I haven't really built any. Let's see. I wonder how many of these we can make. Before we run out of room. Everything seems pretty mild mannered right now. So we'll have a total of 40 beds that we can have. We'll just have to like keep in mind like how many beds we have. Um, because we technically have more beds down here, but these don't actually count as like actual beds. Okay, so we could probably do A uh, cleaning room right here. Did they fix this yet? Perfect. 
So we want to build a, I can't remember what it's called. Is it a washroom or laundry? Laundry. It's yard time, y'all. Make sure you have plenty of laundry baskets. Very important. Oh shoot. Earning board, earning board. Table, table. Construction. Man, there's so much I forgot about this game. I like saw that dirty, uh, dirty clothes over there. It's like, shoot, I forgot to make a, a laundry room. All right, so they got some free time. So, you know, they'll probably go and take a shower. They'll probably hang out in the yard some. Um, as soon as we finish construction, I'll slow time down a bit. Oh, no, we've already got some people in uh, the infirmary. Why? Oh, I guess because it's free time. They can literally go anywhere they want to. That reminds me, let's set some like rules in place. Sit here. Security sectors. Okay, so. So, so I want this area, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area to be staff only in this area. Um, I want that to be staff as well. I really don't want the prisoners coming down here at all. Okay, and then we'll make this staff only as well. Okay, forgot about that. Whoops, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, so we've got our cleaning area done. Rooms, cleaning. We can actually hire some people. Like, we can uh, make the prisoners, like, work. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You don't put anything in the uh, cleaning room. Uh, let's make a commissary as well. Structure. Commissary is important. You know, you want to give people a little taste of uh, the outside life. I forget what it's called though. Maybe it's called store. Shop. Oh. All right, while our little prisoners are sleeping, well, somebody's not sleeping. Inmate Nightingale, get in the bed right now. Guards, frisk this guy. Search him. Why is he not sleeping right now? Oh, we su we suspect there's something wrong with this guy. It's saying we can't we can't search him unless we suspect he's up to something. I think he's up to something. Okay. Yeah, he's probably scared he's going to get shanked. Emma, this is prison we're talking about. You know, I had a I had a friend who was in prison one time. Prison Mike. He's told me some really crazy stories. So, I would listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sh 
Shop front. Metal detector. Do we want a metal detector in here? I don't really think that's necessary. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna fix that shop up. So prison running. Logistics. Assign prisoners. Assign all. That's what we want. I'm trying to think if we're missing anything. That cleaning, we got the shop area. Can they... Oh, okay. I was like, where's the shop front at? Uh, we can have them work in the laundry, too. I prefer them all having jobs. Oh, but it's staff only. I forgot I did that. Um, so we can have, like, little classrooms, and we can teach them how to use the workshop. Uh, but I'd kind of like to see how things go first. Uh, because it's been a while since i played with medium security prisoners. And I don't quite know how dangerous it is to give them tools and stuff. Um, we could probably just go ahead and, like... Well, first we need to have classrooms set up, so let's go ahead and build a hallway down here. Maybe we could set it up like this, and then we could just make this whole area right here a workshop. You can make some serious cash with a workshop, ladies and gents. Serious cash. Okay. They want drugs, they want showers. Free time. Yeah, go and take your showers, you dirty boys. You dirty boys. Alright, we'll make this a classroom. walls so once we get the classroom we can start uh, training them on workshop safety um, and then once they pass the workshop safety they can then work in the workshop and then we can start doing exports which is really good money um, now typically doing workshop stuff and exports for a minimum security prison can be kind of tough uh, because minimum security prisoners don't stay in the prison very long because they've done minor crimes. Um, but with medium security, they're probably going to be in here for a good bit. Oh, I got to unlock education, I think. First. Bureaucracy, education. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me. Let me like assign some staff. So, I want two guards in here. Um, and then I think in terms of patrol routes, can probably have one guard right here. guard right here uh, we could probably put two right here and then guard deployment put a guard in here okay I apparently got a oh nice I finished up that grant what's this government security rights 
two dog handlers and two armed guards. I don't know that an armed guard is necessary right now. We could do visitation. I think I'm more inclined to do this right now though. To work in the kitchen. Uh, prison running. Security sectors. Share. Prison running. Logistics. Sign all. Doggy. Yep, we'll get a doggy. Don't you worry. Oh, that reminds me. I need to uh, put a metal detector. In case that guy tries to steal a knife from the kitchen. It's happened before, ladies and gents. Can never be too careful. Construction, rooms. I still can't do classrooms yet. Uh, oh, it hasn't finished researching. Oh no. Okay, so that means that uh, we have tripped the power supply, so we gotta add some more capacitors to our generator. We have a good bit of money, so I'm just gonna go ahead and load up on capacitors. Okay. Uh, typically, when you have a pretty big prison, you have to have multiple generators. Oh gosh, they're already getting rowdy. Boo! All right, let's flip this bad boy back on. There we go. All right, so we're at like 50% capacity now. That's good. Okay, rooms, classroom. School desk, school desk, school desk, school desk. And then what we got left to do in here? Oh, an office desk. Easy peasy. Probably leave out some of these. I don't think we need that many. Okay, so once we have that classroom set up, we can actually start educating our prisoners and making them, in theory, better citizens. Should probably hire a doctor. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. So I think we do need to set up some... Gosh, there's so much to this game that I'm, like, remembering now. Okay. Maybe we can put the armed guard stuff in the kennel right here. Eventually we'll want to have some armed guards in the prison. Now the armed guards carry shotguns. Um, so they can and they will shoot prisoners if necessary. Which is always really fun. <laughs> I'm not crazy. 
But no, on a more serious note, uh, they basically protect, like, the other prisoners and the guards because, like, for example, if a prisoner kills a guard and takes their taser or takes their baton and starts, you know, tasering other prisoners and other guards or if a prisoner has a knife and they are trying to kill other prisoners... Um, you want to be able to stop that prisoner pretty quickly. Um, so one of the ways that you can do that is by um, having armed guards. Kennel. Now obviously you don't want like people to be killed. I mean that's bad. Um, but, like, ultimately, like, you're responsible for, like, the safety of the, uh, prisoners in your prison, so. You definitely want to make sure that they're taken care of. And they're not just going to get shanked every five seconds. Or at least give, uh, give the prisoners some demotivation for shanking people. You know, if they know that there is going to be a guard that has a shotgun that can and will kill them if necessary... They'd probably be a little, uh, a little deterred from uh, trying to kill somebody with that, with that shank. This is real life, you know, real life we're talking about. Okay, I think we could probably get some more inmates in. Prison running. Where's the intake at? So we added twenty more cells. So we're gonna add twenty more people to the prison. But I need to get their showers and stuff set up. Alright, good, good. Good there. Okay, so now we have 40 total capacity. It technically says 41, but I think that's because there's a bed over in the holding cell. Oh, that's good to know. It doesn't count these beds as capacity. You see the capacity thing up here. Um, and you can't see the, uh, the terror rating, but it's a low right now, which is good. Um, the terror rating just basically means, like, how, like, hot your prisoners are in terms of, like, how mad. Um, so if the terror rating's like relatively high, you're probably at risk for a riot at some point. Um, and obviously a riot is no bueno. Okay, let me hire some dogs. Um, so I'm gonna do something very specific. Dog handler right there. And then I also want a dog handler out here. Um, and you might be thinking, why in the world are you doing this? Well, contraband, right? Contraband comes into the prison through deliveries. And so you want a dog in here sniffing out the contraband. I may actually find some stuff out here too. Let's start sniffing. You can see the little like the little dog emblem. I'm actually like edit this patrol route. There we go. That way we get full coverage of the deliveries. Um, and then I've got another dog in here because just in case, for some reason, like, the uh, dog didn't catch it out there. You'll be able to catch it um, in the kitchen. So you basically want to minimize contraband. So anything can be in contraband. It could be drugs. It could be uh, alcohol. It could be knives. It could be other weapons. Um, 
I think I'd probably be in favor of a dog handler being out here. Yeah, puppy dog. Um, patrol route. Let's put a, a guard out here too. We got two over there. I feel like this prison's like on, on a pretty good lockdown. Prison running, logistics. Let me like take this off of staff only. So that I can actually make them like work in here. Sign prisoners. Do we want to put a ton of people in here? Um, is this max security? No, it's a medium security prison. I think eventually we'll build a max. We'll eventually build death row. Death row is pretty cool because you can get an electric chair and you can like kill people, or you can like death by electric chair people, which is pretty dope. Okay, let's look at programs. New program. Workshop safety. Okay, that's what we want to do. Oh, they do the workshop safety in the workshop. Duh. Structure. Okay, we'll put the workshop safety right there. The programs can be kind of expensive though, so you want to keep that in mind. Uh, we could do kitchen. That's good. So this pharmacological treatment, that's for like drug addiction. So we could do that. Oh, group therapy. Yeah, we probably want to do that too. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a bit. Okay, so we just got a ton of new animates in. Holy crap. Look at our cash flow. Almost $3,000. I can't remember how much is a lot of like, cash flow in this game. It's been so long. We got inmate Klein, inmate Johnson, inmate McKenzie, inmate Maid, inmate Katarski, inmate Smith, inmate Descartes... DeCaros. Oh, okay. Joker's got some sass on him. Inmate Willis, inmate Davies, inmate Boys, inmate Diaz, inmate Halden, inmate Sanford, inmate Cheney, inmate Gulliford, inmate Longfield, inmate Griffin, inmate Shopland. That's a weird last name. Inmate Danby, he's got some cornrows. Dope. All right, guys, welcome to your new home. The Clementine Medium Security Prison. Clementine Correction Facility. All right, let's get some more janitors. Because it's pretty gross in here. I don't think I ever keep it on, like, normal mode. I keep it on, like, the second speed or the third speed almost at all times. Hey, found some poison on that guy. You sack, you're going into the shoe. Oh, no, he just had a... Okay. I guess it was characterized as drugs, so he's going into lockdown now. Inmate Wagstaff, you dirty biscuit. Behave yourself. Who do we want to, uh... Who do we want to pick on? Who's going to be our favorite inmate? Our uh, metal detectors are doing a terrific job scouting out contraband. I feel like I probably want to put another guard on here. 
Just because there's a lot of... A lot of places for some people to take some knives and stuff. Got some good money, though. $2,200? That's a lot. Okay, so for this... Put that door right there. This is going to be our workshop. Rooms. Going to make some good money out here. We can also plant a bunch of trees and make money that way. I've done that before. It doesn't require any prisoner input. You can literally just hire like a gardener to, to plant trees and to... Um, then the uh, your like worker bees, like the guys in yellow, will like take the, like the trees down and like put them in exports. Oh, I forgot about storeroom. Uh oh, dog found something. Oh, found some more bleach. Okay, I think a storeroom would be appropriate. Let's build structure. I think I'll probably move the garbage area. To across the street. I'm going to do exports over here. Um, and then let's do the storeroom needs to be pretty big because there's a lot of stuff you put in the storeroom. Put the door to it right here though. Okay. Now this place can get very expensive to build. put a couple of these carpenter tables in but we're not going to use them just yet these are for making beds later on and beds make some serious cash and uh, a very good idea is to have plenty of metal detectors because when you're in workshop, you're given a lot of tools. And we don't want the prisoners taking the tools out of the workshop. That would be bad. And I'm going to have a guard in here at all times. Let's see. How do I remove a guard from here? Yeah. We're on opposite ends. Like papers and scissors? No, like knives, screwdrivers, uh, pickaxes. I mean, they, they'll take all kinds of stuff from the uh, shovels. I mean, everything. 
So you just want to be really careful, like, when you have people going in here. Yeah, screwdriver. Gah. Stabbing people. Okay, so this is going along pretty well. Oh, let me... I don't think this is going to be in the way. Let me move my camera down a bit. Let's see. Settings. Oops. Camera. Lower left. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so the heat is at, at medium. It's not super great. Okay. One is being well treated. Six have serious complaints. I wonder what those complaints are. It probably has something to do with they feel like they've been unreasonably searched at some point. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, workshop. Ten prisoners have signed up for it. Dope. Uh, prison running. Security. Shared. Okay, programs, okay, so three prisoners are in there. We probably need to find or make like a common area room uh, so that the prisoners can have like Alcoholics Anonymous, that types of stuff. How big do I want to make that room? I could make like a couple like... We'll just make one room. Like that. Also like expanding the hallway there. Okay. Let's look at our grants. It's been a while since we looked at our grants. Oh, we definitely want this. Prison manufacturing? Heck yes. Tool cleanup. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the tool cleanup while we're here. Um, so emergencies. Let's do a shakedown. All right. So uh, a shakedown is basically every single prisoner is getting frisked. Every hole that they could possibly hide anything in is getting frisked. Um, it is a... Oh, they found some ramen. Oh no, we got a hammer. We're about to find lots of contraband, y'all. These prisoners are going to get really upset, though. They do not like... Oh, found a cigar. They do not like being frisked. Probably hire some more guards. Oh, did we do it? Hey, let's do the crackdown on drugs too. Oh, we got the crackdown on drugs too. Bam, man, we got some good money now. So that means that no drugs and no tools have been stolen yet. Um, Staffel being... Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Good, got that. What's this? Hire two doctors, and then then we need a psychologist. All right, that sound means it's all clear. I guess we could just go ahead and make that right there. Demolition walls done. I'm excited about this. The prison's really like growing right now what we'll probably end up doing is we might split the area into like a medium sec and a max sec and just have the max sec stuff up here but I do want to have them like separate because the uh, max sec people are pretty mean uh, you guys might find that a little surprising um, you know being killers and all that they're they're mean people but they're they're very mean 
They fight all the time. Um, if you have a prison full of max sec people, you're you're technically playing on hard difficulty. Let me connect this like power supply. Okay. Yeah, a lot of it in the beginning is just building. Um, so if you like that types of stuff, you're probably like, man, this is so dope. But if you don't like that types of stuff, you're probably like, man, we're going to get some good fun. The fun is coming, I promise. Uh, walls. This is just going to be a common area, so like it doesn't need to be like guarded or anything. Oops. Oh, does the common room not even need any uh any crazy objects? Or uh, excuse me, enclosed walls. <laughs> you know how you like say things and it's like that's not what I meant to say. Happens to the best of us. Okay, I think we can do, now that we have a common room, we can do Alcoholics Anonymous now. Oh, I have to have a psychologist first. Well, that's why we're building this. So we can have maybe one or two psychologist-like offices. There are high levels of contraband in the prison. Why well, I don't know how they keep getting contraband guards. Oh gosh, found a knife. Anybody fighting? Got some fight going on. Got lots of eating. That's all I hear. Why are our floors so filthy? I feel like we might need to hire some more janitors. It's like the shower room is disgusting. There's like mold growing on the <laughs> on the floors. All right, I want to observe to see how the food situation. Ooh, bacon! That looks so good. Are they eating bacon and eggs? Inmate Nightingale, finish your food. Eat your food, Tina. Tina Nightingale. That's that's its name. Tina Nightingale. Oh, Steven. Well, we'll pretend it's it's uh, Tina. Let's see what uh, what he did. Let's see. Sentence to two years for joyriding. <laughs> he has a wife, age 35. He's also 35. He's got a son, age 17, a son, age 14, and a father, age 67. He's actually had pretty good behavior. He passed the uh, kitchen safety and hygiene. Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? That's like a very good idea. I haven't added parole rooms. Gosh. Oh no. We got an incident. Oh no. Oh no. Some people got into a fight. Oh gosh, we got an unconscious inmate, y'all. A fight went down. Said it would take some time to get juicy. Our prison's only 15 days old. Can they, like, get out of the, uh... The beds? I mean, we got some like really, uh, really beat up inmates here. Also, where's our doctor at? Don't I have a doctor? Yeah, doctor's just kind of chilling.
Oh, it requires water. Did I not hook these up with water? That could be why they're upset. They don't have clean clothes. <laughs> it's been 15 days, y'all, and they have yet to wash their clothes. That's kind of gross. I can see why they're upset. I can see why. Piper, not paper. Like Piper and scissors. Yes, yeah, screwdriver. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't understand what you were saying first. But yeah, like Piper and the screwdriver. Except in this prison, you don't get to go to the shoe for uh, having a screwdriver. You just go to your cell. Now, if you hurt somebody with that screwdriver. Oh gosh, they got a knife. We knew it was going to happen eventually. That's okay. When they get caught with contraband, they get fined out of their personal savings. So, the prison's making some money for every piece of contraband that we find. Okay. The clothes are being washed. <laughs> 15 days without any clean clothes. Oh, we got a spoon. Inmate Potter, caught with a spoon. The Spoon King. He loves spooning people. Stabbing them with a spoon. Alright, let's look at our grants. Inmate well-being. Oh, psychologist. Um, that's what we were going to do. So that warning about high levels of contraband, literally every single prison that I've ever built is like, high levels of contraband, high levels of contraband. So that does not surprise me at all. We'll put two psychologists office down here. I feel like psychology is very important. You know, people need to go and see a therapist. So I'm trying to figure out when I want to do escape mode. I feel like we should make it like a a timed thing. So like every fourth stream, so like once a month, we play as a prisoner and we try we play as a prisoner in our own prison and try to escape and just get in trouble, you know, shanking people and doing lots of uh terrible things, you know, making people drink bleach. Oh gosh, they're getting rowdy. Oh no! Inmate Wagstaff! <laughs> That's what happens when you fight the cops. Gosh, Joker's getting beat. Yeah, he is a mean prisoner. Bleach, yep. Oh, you're talking about me? Oh, yeah, I would be a, a really mean prisoner. I just go around shanking people all the time. Get shanked, you sack. Look, that guy had some, uh, some pliers. Cutting pliers. Okay. Rooms. I think it's just office. And then you just put a psychologist in there. That sound is people relieving themselves, by the way. <laughs> All right. So once that uh, gets done, why is this so dark? Did they not install any lights? Usually lights are like automatic. Um, but I guess the way that I like built the, uh, the thing didn't work. Dang, that joker had a saw. 
I mean, as long as we're not killing anybody, I'm kind of okay with it. Copy, paste. Okay, hire staff. Psychologist. Okay, and then we need to hire another doctor, right? All right. Probably need to pick up some more prisoners, so we might expand our, um... Expand our, our population here. All right, triple check, that's what you want to do. I can't tell you how many times I've done this and have really messed it up and it is a hot mess to fix. Okay, that's a pretty big expansion there. Okay, got lots of light though, in that area. Why don't we have any light down here? Um, objects. The Joker just relieved himself on the floor right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know why they're like sleeping in the infirmary beds. We'll have to add like another thing to the top so that we know that each one of these rows is 20 beds. Cause it helps me to like keep up with like how many like prisoners we can have in there. Even though like the capacity's up here. I also like things to be symmetrical so that's like another reason. Okay, let's look at what we can research. Um, so I think I'm probably in favor of the armory, but I mean, I say that, but then we're really not in a ton of trouble right now. We might could like wait on that. I don't want to introduce guns into the prison just yet because I don't feel like it's dangerous enough. Now, if like people are getting stabbed almost every day, might consider putting some guns into the prison, but we're not trying to kill people. Like we're trying to like reform people. Okay, prison running, logistics, fill all those spots. So now that we've got uh, people assigned to the workshop, we can start exporting uh, different goods. Got lots of deliveries. Oh no. What do you guys think Gulliford's thinking about? He's got $9.22 to his name. Oh, what does that say? Let me move my, um, move my camera over one more time so I can see what that says. That's like new. I haven't seen that before. Camera, lower right, flip horizontally. Okay. Hygiene, recreation. Oh, I think that means he's like good. Food. Clothing. Mate, maid's got a lot of money on him. Probably hasn't had a lot of contraband. This guy's in lockup. You can tell because he's got handcuffs inside his cell. So he did something bad, obviously. Who do we want to pick on next? Who's uh, who's another one of our... Let's look at Shopland since he's got such a weird name. What did he do? <laughs> it's the six years for kidnapping. Yikes. Uh, so he's got a girlfriend who's 18. He's 19. Mother 40, father 47. Six years to kidnap him. So he's going to be in the prison for a while. What a inmate storm. What did he do? 
The unhinged Trevor Storm was an artist prior to his crimes. A private detective finally tracked him down at a game developer conference wearing a fancy dress costume and wielding a handgun. The authorities are relieved that he's behind bars and expect to be a model prisoner. Storm's message to his friends on the outside is, I am at your mercy. They call him Trevor, the money man Storm. <laughs> he's 18 years old. Just mom and dad. What about inmate Potter? Wasn't he in trouble earlier? Frank, hardcore Potter. Oh. <laughs> the impatient Frank Potter was a bodyguard prior to his crimes. The National Guard finally tracked him down at an undisclosed location, wearing a leather outfit and wielding a truncheon. His gang mates are at a loss that he's behind bars and expect him to be permanently in solitary confinement. Potter's message to his captors is, watch your back. Dang. He's got a wife of 32 and a son of 11. Mother and father. His father is 11 years older than his mom. Interesting. So, you know, learning lots of, uh, learning lots of facts about our prison, prisoners. Okay. Let's demolish the walls right here. Demolish the walls here. So what I don't want to do is demolish the walls here because then prisoners are free to just escape. <laughs> we definitely don't want that. Oh, found some pills. Found some pills contraband up in the up in the deliveries. I feel like we probably want to like have like some more guards. Like in this area. Just cause it, I feel like it probably get a little dangerous. Oh yeah, this is gonna be our storeroom. Gosh, there's like so much to this game I forgot about. Alright. Now our little worker bees will take some stuff. We need to have more inmates in. Our cash flow is getting uh, not super great. $500? Uh, what kind of grants can we have? Alcoholic groups. That's what we want. Um, grants. Could uh do cell block B. I mean, we're literally yeah we we just got that fifty cells. Easy peasy. Could do cell block C. A hundred capacity. Uh, we could probably do this long-term investment and this short-term investment. That should be fine. Don't we have another one that we're currently working on? No. Uh, I guess we might could do visitation rights. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, I can't. I already have... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have this prison manufacturing. 30 license plates. Okay. Demolish walls. Demolish walls. Or oh, they're filling out those. Found some cigarettes. Found some cigs. I think I probably need to do it like this. So I think that means that they'll... Oh, whoops. Don't need to do that. There we go.
All right, let's hope that these workers aren't like stupid and uh, destroy this wall before they build this outside area. Otherwise, we might have a massive prison break on our hands. Oh gosh, tensions are high. Okay, they seem to be going kind of low. We got a lot of people in lockup. A lot of people in lockup. I mean, we'll stop taking daggum weapons out of places that they don't need to be taken out of. I mean, you can feel bad for these guys all day long, but they are prisoners. I mean, I might need to get some armed guards in here. It's starting to get a little dangerous. I'm, I'm actually a little terrified for, uh, for my people's lives. Uh, oh, I have to research armed guards. I guess we could try tasers. Tasers are just painful. Boo! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no! A fight broke out in the shop. Dude, that guy's almost dead. That guy's almost dead. Let's, uh... Alright, once they finish building those out, we should be at, uh, I want to say, 80 capacity in the prison. Look at them making some, uh, some license plates. That consulting fee is the uh, <laughs> the uh, contraband fine that we put on the prisoners. <laughs> I freaking love that. That's like such a great idea. Okay. So, construction rooms, armory. So we got a weapons rack. Guard lockers. I'm only going to have like maybe two to start with. Because I don't want this to be like a, like a, you know, police brutality situation. I mean, that's unnecessary. So as soon as they install those lockers, um... And these people are about to start rioting. Oh no! <laughs> Why are they so mad? Maybe they don't like being uh, cooped up in work all the time. Let's do a bit of a regime change. Man, so many people are getting caught with weapons. Let's see. Needs. So, recreation. They need more recreation. Oh, gosh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Blood is spilling tonight, y'all. Blood is spilling tonight. 
Okay, yeah, that needs to be closed. Power staff. I'm guard right there. I'm guard in here. That should keep the peace a little down. The suppression rate. Whew. See, there's a shank. That's like one of my favorite weapons to use as a prisoner. Shank, shank, shank. Stab, 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 stab. It's like they complain that they don't like being locked up so much, but it's like, well, why do you keep stealing weapons, you know? Stop stealing weapons, and you won't be locked up. All right, I think we need to add some more people. We can add how many? 40 more? Let's do it. Ooh, this prison is about to get uh real tight. About to have 80 uh, prisoners in here. Excuse me. I think I just need to give them more free time. Cause uh like with these like medium sec people, they probably don't like Probably don't like working that much. I'll give them some extra free time. I wonder what our cash flow is gonna be once we uh, we get these new people in. Let's go ahead and get these showers uh, fixed up. Or not showers, uh, toilets fixed up for people. For our people. So loud. So I purposely lined the toilets up like that so that I could lay the small pipes out in that sort of manner. I wonder if they're going to have enough, like, cooks and stuff for, um... Like all the new people. Maybe we should add some more serving tables. Maybe some more actual tables. Okay. And it might not be a bad idea to... Well, we probably don't need any more cooks. I feel like the contraband level would go down like a lot if we banned people from this kitchen. Let's, uh, let's do that. We don't want anybody working in here. Um, and then in terms of programs, we're going to cancel that program. All right, we desperate, desperately need some cash flow up in this joint. Daily cash flow out. Alright. 
I'll uh, put this on super speed mode. So we can let them work. I don't know when the uh, new prisoners get in. In five hours, so eight eight a.m. Well, yeah, maybe we can do something like every once a month we play escape mode for um for like a stream. I think that would be really cool because we get to experience it at like different levels of the prison and really get to test out the flaws of the system. So they're definitely going to need some more cooks. All right, an hour and a half and our prison population doubles. <laughs> this is not going to be good. This is going to be an epic disaster. Dang, four, five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars. Holy crap. Man, look at the prison intake payments, too. We got 25,000 in prison intake payments. That's dope. Yeah, we got so many people. Inmate Swanson, inmate Pratt, inmate Pereira, inmate Gall, inmate Lee, inmate Skinner. Inmate Raider, Herford, Bryant, Goosens, McKenzie, Goodwin, Platter, Garcia, Smithson, Thompson. So many people. The guards got their handfuls right now. Thirty-seven prisoners are suppressed, probably because we have armed guards in this prison now. Oh, and that reminds me, um, we no longer need to have an armed guard in here. Probably just have him like just walking around. Just to keep everybody compliant. I mean, we're making some serious cash load now, though. Almost $6,000. Not to mention exports. Exports are going to be some big money. Once we get those uh, license plates done. Dang, Wagstaff's like, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do my time, and I'm going to get out. Make us some license plates, boys. It's like the coolest thing, having some sort of like economy system in the game. You're like making products and like exporting them. So dope. This inmate Gulliford is very good at his job. Look, he's making good money too. You can tell that Joker's had a lot of contraband on him. He's only got a dollar to his name. <laughs> So a lot of these people are being taught right now how to use uh, the workshop. Yep, we got some exports already ready. How many is this? 20 license plates. So as soon as these license plates get put on the uh, truck, um, we're gonna get that um, that grant complete. Bye bye. 
Or maybe we already got the grant complete and I just didn't see it. Oh, we already did. Pam. So we just got an extra $2,000 uh, with exports. Carpentry produced 10 superior beds. That's going to be a while. Could try cell block C. No, we could probably do... Uh... Oh, we could do this. We've already done it. Oh, two armed guards to paths. Patrol routes. Good. Okay. More grants. Probably visitation, right? So would be a good next one to do. Dang, we have so much money now. I mean, we started on federal difficulty, so like I was expecting it to be a little harder than what it is right now. Although, to be fair, I've played this a while, so I've kind of figured out the economy system. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Okay. Man, we got a full house. Oh. 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 Whoops. I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. You have to treat these solitary cells as like individual cells. That makes sense why there were a lot of people locked up. Gosh, all those people in this laundry room? <laughs> Jeez. I don't feel like we need that many people washing clothes. Maybe we can get them working somewhere else. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have another cleaning like room. Room. Cleaning. That way our prison would be super clean. Um, where's it at? Logistics. Max. Dang, we're making some money now. Yeah, we're making lots of money now. I found some cigarettes on a truck. Did two of our prisoners die? Or they must have got out on early, uh, on like release. Okay, how about we move this hallway? Over here, and then we can fill out this area. Part of this can be visitation. Um, and then I have to figure out what we want to do with the other part. Oh, we could probably do parole rooms. Parole is a really good like feature that Maybe if you've been playing the game for a little bit, you haven't really, like, gotten to experience before. Um, but parole's really cool because, essentially, like, you can send people out on early release if their, like, chance of reoffending is, like, below a certain threshold. Um, so if it's, like, below that certain threshold, you can actually send them home. Like, they're free. Like, they're no longer in prison anymore. Um, and you get money. It's, like, $3,000 per early release. Um, so you can make a good bit of money. So one of the tricks that I've done is with like a minimum security like prison, um, is building a ton of parole rooms and then just collecting the early release payments. It's a really easy way to make lots of money. Um, but obviously that's a little harder with medium security and with max security because they don't get released that often. Um, but I think we have, uh, made a lot of progress. 
uh, on our prison so far. We've built a lot. We're at 80 capacity. I think 200 capacity would be a good goal for next stream. And then we'll uh, we'll see how we, we're we feeling in terms of escape mode. If we want to make every fourth stream an escape mode stream. I think that would be really cool. Uh, but I think uh, this is a good point to uh, press pause for the time being. Because uh, you boys got to get back to work. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys like enjoyed uh, enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, and maybe you like this game a lot, and you know, are looking to like pick it up. I mean, I think it's a terrific game uh, if you like tycoon type stuff. Because um, it's, uh, it's a little different too. Um, just get to like experiment with the different like security classes and all that. Uh, but yeah. So I uh, hope you guys will join us next Tuesday for our next stream of Prison Architect. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. But uh, for the time being, take care. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.